Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Lost Hills Lover, or Lost Hills Bunker Lover. But we're currently doing Maxins, and which should be over here, which I think we were at last time. But it seems that the Maxim Bunker's finally falling after all this time. What a shame we could have held up for so long if we were the ones manning it rather than Elder Brixley. But I did want to get through some comments before we kept going on, at least where I was keep doing focuses and whatnot. Such as, uh, this current faction is currently not fun. The meta is to focus on growth and supporting the other chapters. Such as right now, we're in the um, uh, Mojave chapter. They can only wage war in the very late game when and if the big players are low on manpower. The focus tree is not great, or it sucks up a lot of po political power, starting with almost fa no factories or manpower at all. It's possible to fight the NCR of the Legion without exploiting. You can attack the NCR when it's waging a war against the Legion, but it's difficult to capture all the main territories before the Legion, and without it, you can't progress further than hold the territory. You're always overwhelmed with too much expensive equipment and scarce manpower is lost to attrition. So, well, that's not untrue. That's it. it seems like that's going to be very... Very, uh, honest statement. So, that's from one comment. Another comment is, I think if you go right behind the research slots, it'd be better for the NCR conflict and also take away all those debuffs. But it's important to communicate with the other chapters of the Brotherhood of Steel and remember the Paladins. As we just finished up, Max and Zen. Um, let's see, I did read these last time as well, so we're going to go with conflict in the chapter. Uh, let's see, someone says, doo -doo 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 -doo. I actually just completed the Blue Rose Society, and they're indeed the remnants of the FBI there. The focus tree is really awesome. I suggest playing it in his opinion, which there is a course a sub mod for that, which is, which I've heard is pretty good overall. Hopefully they can continue holding the line, even though this is costing us a little bit of manpower too, which is not great. Um, let's see. Someone says this faction is cursed by its reliance on a bunch of paladin for forces, rely on the RNG instead of you doing, which relies on RNG instead of you doing land leasing and sending volunteers. So yeah, that's true as well. But since we're over here, in anyways, we're assimilating people. Not very much though. Uh, close out of that. Close out of that. Underground expansion. Probably want to keep doing that. We have two more slots here. Construct underground construction facilities, which you will do eventually. Laboratories. More research speed would be nice. Training facilities. Expeditionary groups would be bad. We're getting going for, what is this? Political power, of course. We want to dig deeper, too. Um, research speed is okay. Output. Construction speed. We'll go with construction speed and. You know, get more research speed. We'll get that one for now, too. Another comment includes Let's go. Lost Hills, yes. So it says, mm, yes, the origins of old rural blues lore for Hoi 4. So it says, go with the cultists, also known as the intellectuals, which we're not going to go for this campaign, but in the next campaign we might. We'll see. I don't know yet. So we'll see. So it says, we should support the cause in the North of Brotherhood Civil War. I'd like to, but maybe next time as well. Someone says, thanks, man. Someone says, finally. Someone else says, neat. And someone else says, um, in the decisions tab over here, construct underground, not this one, um, condense underground uh, construction facilities is not worth it. So... This one, um, at least five civilian workshops built using construct underground construction facilities. Basically, you when selected, you add a negative five off map civilian workshops. Um, you get one condensed workshop, which gives also state fifteen percent additional local building construction speed. So basically, you lose looks like five civilian spaces, or really four, really five, but then you get. 50% local building construction speed. That doesn't seem very worth it. But it is what it is, I guess. Of course, we're going to do this one as well off screen. Of course, we'll do all these a little more off screen as well. But I do want to get down here. Now, with this one, we want to get Jonathan Maxim back to health. We need more political power, so we got to save it a little bit and research Stim Pack, which gives more political power, because I don't want to do this one just yet. But this one. Um, remarkably, Jonathan Maxim returned to full health. It seems it won't take one well placed bullet to end this titan. With Jonathan Maxon in charge of the Maxonians, the Brotherhood's in a much better position to lead the Maxonian block of elders to a better future. Nice. Scout honoring that Maxon elders. The Maxon line of elders have been the most respected out of any of the Lost Hills, considering their institutional role in helping found the organization in the first place. We can honor the NCR Veterans War or call out poor military strategy. Taggarty's legacy versus long history of reform. Reaching out to family. Honor the veterans, calling it poor military strategy. Well, honor the veterans. Our heroes overcame the odds and crushed the bear's empire. Every chapter from here to the capital shall rise a glass in their honor. Long history of reform. The Rombians have a long history of active reform within the Brother to Steel. We need to respect the efforts they made to adapt, adapt the Brother to Steel to changing times. Reaching out to family. 
The daughter of the elder Maori, Catherine, is currently living out east with a brother near Dallas. We should send some support if we can. And Taggarty's legacy. Taggarty is an important figure to the Rombians, as she made an important call that few others would make. When faced with the survival of her chapter of the Savior of the Wasteland, she made the call to do whatever had to be done. The battle for defiance is legendary and should be respected. New Vegas makes an offer. In the early morning hours, a uh, Robco robot unknown to us approached us, or approached an outpost and demanded to speak to a superior. Humoring the machine, a paladin spoke to and received a proposition. Release a curiosity to tin in Sunny Bell and return its, and return its master robots with advanced technology from the ruins of New Vegas. Hmm. Kill it, question the courier. Brother objects. Advanced tech from the Nevada. The bumpkin can go free. Uh, I'm not sure which way they went. I'm going to assume they went with all old authority since the house is still there. Secure the sun. Broken steel. Hidden Valley. Architect Destiny. Hmm. I just don't want them to go with the NCR. That's my biggest thing. Vault 3. Jane's Comfort. Actually, do they have Vault 3? So you can also go down to Vault 21. Uh, let's see, Vault 3. Isn't it like right here? Yeah, Vault 3. They're going to kill these guys anyways. Huh. Oh, this, this is us. Um, more Lucky 38 opens. Vegas Prime, which is really cool, of course. I'm not sure. They want to kill the Mojave chapter. They don't have the Platinum Chip, though. So that's what they're trying to do right now. New World... Oh, do this one. They need to complete the focus. New World Order. Where's New World Order? Oh, it's right there. It's right in front of us. Um, Kill it. Question the courier. Delayed delivery. That one. No one can discover us. Also, we're doing actually okay -ish right down here. I'm not sure where the divisions are. They've kind of come, came through here as well, but you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. Lannis, Lannis is not doing well against the Hangdogs. Look at that. So, um, we're doing all right as well. Uh, I also read this one last time too. So, advanced scavenging. We're now ready to begin advanced scavenging programs, searching the wastelands for valuable technology and forest recycling programs. In a bunker, almost like living in space, bringing any new materials exceedingly expensive. If a major engine breaks down, it can take months to find a suitable replacement, gather a team to attain it, and then have a team of scraps working to install it. By forcing a program of regular recycling, we can reduce the need to bring in more tech from the out of the bunker, leading to more self-sufficient uh, lost hills. And we went with this uh, route, uh, principle instead of purity, which, I don't know, makes sense to me. Repen repair ventilation systems. Lost cells ventilation systems are going to be very important, considering the vast number of people now living underground. We want everyone to breathe in fresh, clean air after all. Uh, find a new living space. It's going to take some time to work uh, to make some of our subsections more livable to account for the growing population. Let's solve this before it gets too cramped. Of course, we have advanced scavenging too. Uh, now we're ready to begin as advanced scavenging program search in the wastelands for viable technology. Um, this stuff is okay. We don't have to do this stuff yet. Uh, arms foundries would be very nice, though. Scavenging weapons. Um, laser rifles. You get more equipment, which is nice, but I'd have to get more equipment. We'll do greater reforms, too. So it makes some greater reforms to institutions that have long held true to the brother to steal. To believe in an ideal is to be willing to betray it, after all. Scavenging power armor. Can we produce any more power armor, though? That's what I care about the most. We don't. That sucks. Council of reforms. Ooh, we definitely want to go down here, too. Um, but of course, Cornish of New Max and Elder, War Hero, which we can't do. So, how are we doing over here? They're still attacking. They are still going. And we're still trying to get this tower right here, which sucks. This really sucks here. One more time. Oh, crap, that's not good. Oh, we'll do that a little bit off screen as we're going to do this as well. It's unfair expansion. As we are still waiting to get uh, stim packs for our dude. Dominion, Dominion over the peninsula. We also have Leon's uh, expedition, which apparently they have completed Project Purity. Very nice. Leon's expedition. So, I think I read this earlier, but Elder Leon's mission was simple. Reach the established communications with Eastern Chapter, discover the truth behind the rumors of super mutant activity in Washington, and reclaim America's capital for the Brotherhood. And now we did Brotherhood R&D, which opened up all the stuff down here, which is nice, but, I mean, it's only 5%. It's really not that much. Of course, all the following. Jesus Christ, this is so much. Greenway Evergrowth. You get plants. Ultracite. I mean, this is okay. 
We just can't produce anymore, which I don't like. Get daily army XP game, which is nice. Um, gun render blueprints. Enter battles with the NCR. We acquire a few blueprints belonging to the former to the NCR. We can improve on the lackluster designs, make them even better equipment. Secure nearby lost, near, nearly lost bunkers. There's some old bunkers that we could reestablish. This will submit a chance of victory. What is this? Bunker Alpa. Change tension. Brotherhood presence. <laughs> In Bunker Alpa, some field scribes have managed to hold the base where others have failed. Bunker Blackwell. A few brave scouts have fell to the ground in Blackwell, greeting our returning paladins with open arms, reclaiming the destroyed bunkers. Although, while Alpa and Blackwell were mostly reclaimed, it turns out that most of the bunkers further to the north have been destroyed outright, not a single survivor left. Still, we can reclaim some of these lost bunkers. I've been cleared out the wildlife that's taken up hold in them. I can do more stuff over there as well, which we'll get to eventually. But I'll come back over here. Council reforms that sounds very nice as well. It's been a few good years since the high order positions had real power. The war with the NCR caused paladins that council to have much more sway over bunker politics. With the ceasefire, an opportunity is opened up to attempt to return to the Brotherhood. All right, everyone. So I don't know why, but I'm just keep trying to beat the crap out of the Legion. Who's at now war with the uh, Hangdogs, as well as the Rio Pack? So that should actually help us out, but my god, this is terrible. Um, at the same time, California's exploded with Redding here. Uh, the Californian State, as well as the Californian Way. So, I mean, probably be the best time to attack him right now, but it is what it is, you know. Um, also, we, with the Leon's expedition, um, we chose to get Sarah's Rise over the Hero of Man. There's not really much of a description there for the event, so I just want Sarah's Rise because I don't know. I thought that might fit pretty darn well. But in the meantime, actually, what is all this stuff? California State. We go to war with these guys. We take a lot of their territory, which honestly, we really get to do right now. But um, actually, can we get a war to the middle? Uh, diplomacy, the rally support, submit to us authority. Nah, we're good. Uh, I guess in the meantime, we're going to do a couple more focuses, like normal. Such as political block management. Now that we've codified the political block structure, we can make specific degrees based on what blocks an elder is part of. This can allow us, for example, to ban a political block if it doesn't have enough popularity. Political schema. The elder of the brother to steal a group known for their trickery and manipulation. There are some valuable lessons to be learned from such scheming. Freeing up the council table. Um, the Maxonians and Rombians, often though through their disagreement on some core issues, can lead to stalemates. Perhaps by bringing in some new elders, which historically have been ostracized from the higher elder establishment for the unorthodox views. Under the council, we can help diversify the sort of opinions that are open to discussion and avoid gridlock situations even more. The paladins give some sway. The paladins of the brother are our influential part of our organization, yes, but historically only influential on the battlefield, away from the politics of the elders. By limited fashion, creating a sort of lesser vote by which paladins have some sway in deciding issues, if there's a tiebreaker needed in the vote, that might help stabilize our organization in the face of some issues which are simply far too split down the line. Promotion on demand. In recent years, a new high elder has been chosen for a promotion once every year or so. The ability to break this format and with a bit of push, host an election at will, may prove to be beneficial for manipulating whoever or whatever political schemes we wish for. Political blocks. Often, elders decide on issues based on a vague party line, choosing things like they consider allies also choose. By codifying some of the political blocks among different elders, we can reduce the amount of control individual elders have to vote outside of their block opinions. High elder promotion duration. Historically, during the Brotherhood's Golden Age, the position of high elder was typically held for life. While maybe some time until we can cre create such an age, we can at least make some decisions to attempt to formalize high elder's positions, recent usage, and political blocks. Like I'll go through it earlier. Um, now we're, gonna be, we, we're not a reformist right now, so we can't go down this route, and we're not going to go down this route, but we will go with commitment to purity. If we to expand our ranks past the Brotherhood's core, then we might risk diminishing what it even means to be a brother of the Brotherhood. All members of the Brotherhood must be initiated, as it confers a sacred connection that is carried down all the way from Arthur Maxon. To diminish that by integrating criminals and mutants would jeopardize the very core and commitment to duty instead of currency reform, caps, skull bullion, NCR dollar, script, so commitment to duty. If we start giving soldiers citizenry currency discreetly, or directly, then they will simply use it as an excuse to mingle with those outside of our organization. It diminishes the righteousness of our cause if we were to give soldiers payment for following the codex, essentially turning Maxon's vision into any ordinary job. By making a commitment that we won't change how this operates within the foreseeable future, we effectively put this off to a later date. And we need more equipment now anyway, so scavenging weaponry. Pre-war Americans have firearms everywhere, from schools to hospitals to bowling alleys. We must scour all these places and more for firearms. Scavenging support equipment. Radios, helmets, wrenches, Nuka-Cola energy drinks. These are not as flashy as plasma cells, but they're no less necessary for a squad. Scavenging power armor. Power armor turned to the tide in the Great War, helping American forces drive to the gates of Beijing. Now these suits of armor are the very emblem of the Brotherhood. We gotta collect them all. And scavenging vehicles. 
We really need to find more vehicles if we want to travel the wasteland, even power armor. It's a long road to the capital wasteland. Perhaps we can check car lots, old car lots, parking garages, or bus depots. Well, everyone, as you can see, the Hangdogs have gone to war with the Legion, as well as uh, the Rio Pact, which is actually really helpful for us. So, we're not doing too badly. Even the Mojave chapter is not doing great with the resistance and such, but whatever. Um, the Legion is actually on its last legs, which is nice. But this is turning into a pain in the butt because we're out of power armor. Um, not good. But, let's see, we just did scavenging T-45D power armor. West Tech's T-45D power armor was the first unit to be deployed to the front lines. Although it's somewhat obsolete, it's far better than nothing for our knights. Perhaps we can find a still few suits around. And we'll do this one as well, because we need more power armor for now, too. Two centuries of repairing power armor. I've made us experts at doing so. We can make every suit to go a bit farther. We don't mind replacing some components with things we found in pre-war toys. And scavenging T-51B power armor? Well, we don't necessarily need that. More construction stuff would be nice, too. Um, but we did some of this already all around here, and of course we need the expedition ends as well. Oh, the Montana chapter is not this. Oh crap. The tragedy of the Montana chapter is all but gone, having been wiped out by a nefarious evil vile enclave of loyalists. Dominion of the Peninsula, the Gulf Coast has proclaimed itself victorious over the Everglades and thus the entire peninsula, the American heartland. Despite all of our best efforts, a group known as the Chicago Enclave prevailed. Now the Midwest has fallen under the sway of a new dark age, my maid more sister, perhaps even more protected by the lights of perverted science. Of course, I heard this from earlier, so if you need this again, please go ahead. Uh, transition into the Alamo chapter. The Alamo chapter seems as a continuation of the Brotherhood of Steel in Texas. After some sort of disagreement in which the more civilian members of the chapter shows have broke off from the Codex, and renounced their oaths. It would be more trouble than it's worth to have the Circle of Steel chase down each of them for treason. But now the best we can do is simply to support the Alamo chapter and hope that uh, the, it's time the Dallas Brotherhood contingent is able to reconsider its decision. Oh. That's some volunteers though. That's actually not too bad to do. Um, contact the bunkers, of course. We haven't checked on the San Francisco chapter since we signed the temporary cease for the NCR. Let's see how they're doing. Also, the NCR did explode in Civil War. So the California State versus Redding. They're struggling up there with Oro as well, which is fine with us. Whatever. Um, go get that because you can. Why not? Who cares? And it's a little bit ahead of time. We're done with all the research stuff. One thing I don't like is that even though we get like all this extra power armor, we can't really do anything with it. I wish we could like de-engineer uh, uh, de it or re-engineer it to see what it's like and then get like a blueprint for it. That'd be kind of cool, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'll keep doing underground expansion. We dug deeper, so now we're at 130, which isn't very good for 300... I think it's 300 political power. Not very good, to be honest with you. Um, other than that, I guess we'll read a lot about these two. Weaponry research. Whether we use stones, uh, arrows, or atomic weapons, man will always kill man. We must ensure that we're ready for one all of war's changes. Vehicle research. Pre-war America's lust for oil was driven by its armada of vehicles. Its cities once swarmed with cars like Brahman herds and shady sands. How far have we fallen? How far will we climb back, though? Industry research. A pre-war priest wrote that industry is increasing, or has increased. Commodities are multiplied, agriculture and manufacturers flourish, and herein consists the true wealth and prosperity of this state. If we wish to maintain a control over the way sense of technology, we need to make sure we understand uh, industry, which we can't really do anything about that right now, but whatever. Air research. In ancient times, thousands that would form the Midwest expedition headed out east within the mighty airship vessels. While many of these relics are far and few in the wasteland, there's still plenty to be learned in aeronautics. Robotics research. <coughs> Firmly that thou shalt not make a machine in the likeness of a human mind, but there's nothing wrong with a fancy toaster. Uh, the ancestors were so close to becoming gods before the Great War. Holographic replicators, ter terraforming technology, cheap unlimited energy. What lessons should we take from their fall? That uncontrolled progress is dangerous. And WMD research. We're going to trust the wasteland with the weapons that destroy the world once. We should protect them for their own mistakes by assuming a monopoly or these dangers. Mini nuke preparation. Ooh. Plasma preparation. Plasma weaponry is so advanced that until now, nobody beyond the Enclave understood how to make it. Without proper planning, we can change all that. Plasma core stockpile. Let us acquire as many plasma cores as we can to prepare to update our nice of paladins to use them. Microfusion cell stockpiling. Sad as it is, it is to admit, there, there are Brotherhood members who rely upon gunpowder firearms. We need to ensure that we, we are as feared as we once were, and we need unending amounts of energy, uh, ammunition, and plasma mass production. Ooh, yes. No longer do we stockpile the weapons of old, now we make them. The brother can weaponize this, the insides of a star and shoot it all into all who oppose us. Sounds like a good idea to me. As we are slowly, slowly trying to take down these gosh darn ding-dongs, and hopefully it won't happen and take too long. And everybody, after doing a little bit of Khan's Command stuff, because the Legion would not capitulate, because Iron Alliance would not even join the war, um... Well, it ended up like this. So, I wanted to force them to actually end the war. The 80s were part of that too, so I just gave it to the Thunderbirds. There's, I don't want to wait that long for that. Because now I've got to get ready for the Californian state. Um, led by Colonel Cassandra Moore. Actually really cool. I think that was really cool. But, uh, yeah. In addition to that, we're still building stuff up. Actually, I, I should have done this earlier. And I remember reading this on the Reddit. You should build up roads first, maybe. Because then you're building the entire time up there. But whatever. Additionally, we will outlaw ideological thought of the Rombians. 
Um, I don't know. This is taking forever to play this campaign because it's just so long. I, I probably agree with a, a lot of people who said that a lot of these focuses need to be cut down quite a bit just because almost all of them are 30 days and it just takes too long. It just really just takes too long for all this stuff. But it doesn't matter. I'll still keep going over this. Dominion over DC. The Brothers all but triumphant in DC. With the mission complete, they have chosen to take on a new mission. Getting strange readings from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, they have made a decision to travel north to attempt to find out what's going on in Boston. Liberty Prime Archives. Audis Leon's expedition has been hard at work and on a rare piece of technology known as Liberty Prime. They've offered to share with us at Lost Hill some of the design schematics they've found. The Anchorage Simulation. A few outcasts have shown what seems to be a particularly well-made digital simulation. A historical recreation of the Battle of Anchorage. They've offered us a transcript of what they have found, giving us insight how pre-war technology was used directly. Mini-nuke preparation. The only group that should be using mini-nukes is the Brotherhood. We use them sparingly, which with compassion, and of course with extreme prejudice. Shell stockpiling. Only a mighty advanced organization could deploy the weapons of the Great War. That means, effectively, us. Uranium stockpiling. They say grief for uranium once caused a terrible uranium fever, which they all got around. The brother will be well served, assuming to control all uranium to prevent any more sickness. And mini nuke mass production. With proper research and planning, we can produce mini nukes for our own. No longer we rely on diminishing pre war stockpiles, we have harnessed the atom for ourselves. Eventually. Ooh, destruction device repurposing. Ooh. Future tech. Future tech made the GEC, which almost saved the wasteland. If we could find a way to manufacture them, we can make the world into a veritable garden once again. Perhaps a better world. Greenway hydroponics. Greenway was one of the pre-war companies devoted to peaceful technology development and caring for the Earth. No wonder it fell into the Great War along with so many others, but still, perhaps they're all ruins of a thing or two to teach us, and virtual strategic simulations. Did you know that before the bombs fell, Americans wowed away thousands of hours on their lives on electronic simulations? What degenerate people. We should lock away this lotus-eating machine forever, just after one more turn. But, you know, I've got to end the episode here. Even though it's not very long, I mean, I've spent, like, at least over an hour just trying to do all this stuff anyways. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video regardless... Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll hopefully we'll maybe end up war with the Californian state. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.